Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the loop code question swap nodes in pairs. Uh, pairs. Okay, so in this question we're going to be given a linked list and what we want to do is we want to swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head. And one thing you really want to keep track of is the fact that you cannot modify the value in the list node. Only nodes itself may be changed. So real quickly, what does that actually mean? So um, let's just look at an example. Let's say we have A points to B points to C. So in this case, um, let's just kind of label them. So let's say this is node one, this is node two, and this is node three. So, so in this case, an example is that we want to swap A and B, right? So in simple words, uh, our output will look like B points to A points to C. But how exactly can we do that? So one simple solution to this would just be like remove the, remove the old value of A and give this a new value of B and give this over here a value of A. Now, you actually cannot do that in the question, okay? So what you could actually do instead is change what a current node is pointing for. So in other words, node one is always going to have a value of one, of A, sorry, but you can change what the node is pointing to. For example, over here, instead of having A pointing to B, you could just have B pointing to A, right? So that's one kind of way to think about solving this question. But we'll go over the algorithm later on, and now let's just look at an example. So in this case, we have one, two, three, and four. Those are the nodes that are given to us. And what exactly do we need to do? So we want to uh, swap the adjacent nodes. So that means we have to swap one and two, giving us two, one. And then we want to swap three and four, giving us four, three. And that is exactly what happened over here. So two points to one and one points to four, four points to three, and that is our solution. And that's what we end up outputting. So let's just see how we can actually solve this question. It's pretty simple. And let's see how we can do it real quickly. Okay, so let's start off with a really simple linked list, which is A points to B and B points to C and C points to D. This is our linked list over here. So before we actually go to actually how to solve it, what is our answer going to be? So in simple words, we have to swap these two values and we want to swap these two values. And the result of doing that swap is just going to be B points to A and A points to C, oh, sorry, A points to D and D points to C. This is what our output should be looking like. Okay, so now let's see how we can actually reach that step by step. Now, it, it's, a, it's a pretty simple process and we, we're just doing a few set of rules uh, kind of constantly, okay? And let's just see what those rules exactly are. Okay, so I'll use the color red over here to denote our new linked list, okay? So in our new linked list, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with something known as a dummy head. Now, what exactly is a dummy head? So this over here is going to be an object of the list node class, and it's just going to be a placeholder, a placeholder head, right? So the node itself does not have any value, and its only purpose is to act as a placeholder. So it's just going to stay there, making it easier for us to solve this question. Now to this dummy head, we're going to have the rest of this linked list attached. So our dummy head is going to be pointing to A, which points to B, which in turn points to C, and then finally D. Okay, so that's all we're gonna have. And now let's see how exactly can we make a swap. Okay, so let's look at the first swap, which is we wanna swap A and B with each other. So to do this, we're going to have two variables over here. So let's just call it temporary variable one. And the other thing we're gonna have is gonna be temporary variable two. Okay, pretty simple. And another thing that we're gonna have over here is going to be a, a current pointer, right? So this pointer is gonna start off at our dummy head in the beginning. So our pointer is at dummy head and we have two variables that we want to get its value for. So now the question is what goes inside of these two variables? So the first thing that we want to do inside of our first variable, we're going to store the value of whatever is the next or whatever the green pointer over here. So it, the green pointer is at the dummy head. So to the right of the dummy head or the dummy head is pointing to the node A. So that's what we're going to end up uh, storing for the value of temp1, so it's going to be a. Simultaneously, temp2 is going to be whatever is a dot next, dot next. So that means uh, whatever is to the right of it by two times. So dot next gets us to a, and then we go to the next of a, giving us b. So temp2 would have a value of b. Okay, so this process should be pretty simple, and I'll just go through it a little bit slowly, and the next time we can go through it a little bit faster. Okay, so this is what we're going to actually end up doing. So in the beginning, we are, we're at our dummy head, and now our dummy head currently points to A. 
but technically we want to make a swap between A and B. So that means we should have B pointing to A. That's kind of our end goal. And everything before that should be as it is and everything after that should be as it is as well. Okay, so how exactly do we end up making that change? So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to wherever our pointer is and its next value, so as it is, it's pointing to A, but now instead of pointing to A, it's going to point to whatever is at temp 2. So that means it's going to be pointing to 2. So let's just remove this pointer to A, but instead it's now going to be pointing to the node B. So that's one of the things that we want to do. The second thing that we want to do is we're now going to go to whatever is at temp 2, which in this case is B, okay? And let's see what B is pointing to. So B is currently pointing to C, but it should actually be pointing to A. So that is what we want to end up doing. So in other words, temp2 is going to be pointing to temp1. So B points to 1. So let's remove this over here. And, uh, actually, and over here, the B would end up pointing to A. Perfect. Now there's only one thing we have left to change. So as you can see, as it is currently, it is a cycle, right? So we don't even reach C and D. So we swapped uh, B with A, and now the other thing is A has to point to whatever B was pointing to previously. So before this, B was pointing to C, and that is exactly what A should be pointing to. So A is now going to end up pointing to C. So in other words, uh, A over here is going to point to what B was pointing to earlier, or temp1.next is going to be equal to whatever temp2 was pointing to earlier. So let's just rewrite this so it's easier to kind of look at it. So we have our dummy head. Now the dummy head points to B instead of A. Now B points to A, and A over here points to C. And that C points to D, perfect, okay? And let me just add one more thing. And the D over here, since the D points to nothing, D would actually be pointing to none, just to be more specific, okay? So uh, what you can notice is that A and B did get swapped, right? So A and B did end up swapping, and you can see that because now we have B and A instead of A and B. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to repeat the same steps, but instead of swapping A and B, we want to end up swapping C and D. Now how exactly do we do that? And to do that, we have to change the location of our pointer. So in the beginning, our pointer was at DH, or the dummy head, and now we're going to end up moving it to whatever the value of temp1 was. So in this case, we're going to move it to node A. So our pointer is now going to be right over here at node A. Perfect. So now we're really just doing the same steps. And I'll just go through this a little bit faster since it's the exact same thing. So now the first thing is temp1 would be a value of C. So A.next. And A.next next, which is D, is going to be the value of temp2. So we got C and D stored in for us. And now the first thing that we want to do is, um, so currently we have C and D, but instead of C and D, we want D and C. And everything after that stays the same, everything before that stays the same. Okay, so A over here, instead of pointing to C, should be pointing to D. So in other words, current.next should be pointing to whatever temp2 is. So A points to D. That's it. Okay, now what's the next step? So temp2.next is currently pointing to none. But instead, it should be pointing to C, as you can see over here. So that's the next change. Temp2.next is going to be equal to temp1. So D points to C. And finally, D over here was pointing to none, right, before this. But instead, what we want to do is we want C to be pointing to that value. So let's remove this over here. So D is not pointing to none anymore. And instead, C is pointing to none. So let's just rewrite all of this once again. So over here, we have dummy head points to B, points to A, so that's the same thing. But after A, we go to D, not C, and D points to C, and that in turn points to none. Now this over here is going to be our end result. But how exactly do we know what our end conditions are? When do we know when to kind of stop iterating through this each time? So uh, let's just look at this, and where is our pointer going to be? Our pointer is now going to be at C. Now after C, uh, the next node is none. But remember, we need two adjacent nodes uh, to make a switch. But there's no value, right? There's just none after this. So one of the conditions is the current pointer. So current just stands for the current pointer or just the green pointer. So current dot next should not be equal to none. That's one of our conditions for ending. And what is the other condition going to be like? So for that, let's just look at one case where we have this over here. So we have A points to B points to C. 
and the result of this is just going to be b points to a points to c. So let's look at the very beginning. Um, we would actually end up with a dummy head over here, and that's where our pointer would be in the beginning. Now, at the second iteration, our pointer would now end up being at a. Now, the thing is, a dot next, so the current pointer dot next does have a value, but we still don't actually end up or stop our uh, loop because so this is where the second condition also comes into play. And the basic idea is that we need two nodes. In this case, we just have one node. We need one more node over here, which we do not have. So in other words, current dot next dot next again should also not be equal to none. And we should actually have some sort of node in that place. So that is exactly what we're looking to do. And now let's just look at the code. So I'm just going to go over the code because really all that's happening over here is exactly the same as what I just explained. It's the same thing, just translated into code. So we start off by defining our dummy head and the dummy head is going to be an object of our list node class. So, um, uh, and, if you're and if you're confused where that's coming from, it's already defined for us right over here and, it's exact and we're just going to be using that from here. So uh, by default, it has a value of zero and its next pointer is none. Okay, so one more thing that you want to keep note of is that whatever its value is does not matter at all. It doesn't change anything. Okay, so we have that and now we want to have dummy dot, dummy head dot next pointing to this head over here. So basically what that ends up with is we have our, our dummy head and we have the rest of our linked list over here. Okay, perfect. So uh, the next step after that is we want to have our current pointer. Now, like we saw earlier, the current pointer is going to start off at our dummy head. So that's exactly where we're going to define our current pointer. So that's where we have our current pointer. And now let's see how we can actually get this value. So uh, this is the while loop. It's the same condition. So while current.next and current.nextNext next does have a value and it's not equal to none, we're going to go inside of our while loop. Over here, we have our two temporary uh, nodes. So we have temp1, which equals to current.next, and temp2 is current.next.next. .next. And instead of writing current.next.next, .next, instead you could have just done temp1.next. It's the same thing, okay? So this is what our values are. And now over here, we're gonna be doing the swapping, okay? So the swapping is pretty simple. So current.next, so that's the first thing, current.next, which is where our green pointer was, is now going to be pointing to temp2. Then temp2.next is going to be pointing to temp1. And temp1.next is going to be pointing to what temp2.next used to be point to, pointing to. So that's all we're doing over here. Um, that's all the swapping. It's the exact same thing as the explanation I showed you earlier. And now we want to change the position of our current pointer. So our current pointer is now going to be at the same position of wherever the temp1 is, so temporary variable 1. So it's going to be at that node. And we're going to keep going through this until we're done with this while loop. And at the very ending, we're going to return dummy head.next. And we're returning dummy head.next. I don't think I explained that. Uh, and the reason for that is pretty simple because uh, let's just look at this example. So we have the dummy head over here and we want to uh, output the head of our new linked list. So the head of our new linked list is nothing else but dummy head.next, which in this case means that we're outputting the node B. So that's exactly what we're going to end up doing over here. And let's submit this and it should get accepted. And finally, one more thing is that the time complexity of this is going to be big O of n by two. And the reason it's going to be n by two is because we're going through only every adjacent cell, right? So every other cell, so uh, n by two. And uh, usually you just uh, get rid of the constant, so it's just going to be big O of n. And the, and the space complexity over here is going to be constant space. Okay, and as you can see, our submission did get accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.